Good morning. It's me again. Everybody know how I like to start my morning with a prayer. Anyway, Father God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for a good night's sleep. I want to thank you for waking us up this morning. I want to thank you for life, health, and strength. I want to thank you for allowing me to walk on this healing journey, Lord. I ask you to not only let my message be healing for myself, but let my message be able to be healing for others, Lord. I ask you to continue to continue to watch over us, protect us, guide us, heal us, and bless us. And most importantly, let us think more and highly of ourselves, Lord. I ask you to continue to allow us to walk in light instead of walking in darkness, Lord. Continue to allow us to be able to love one another, respect one another, and communicate better with one another, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for creating your precious son, Jesus, for him to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, I ask you, please forgive me for my sins. Lord, I ask you, please protect not only me, but take my children, protect my grandbaby, protect each and every one of my family members, protect my friends, and even protect my foes, Father God. Father God, I ask you to bless, heal, and guide anybody that's watching my video and bless and guide and heal the ones that's not. Lord, I ask you to give us strength to walk on this journey. Give us strength to heal from the inside out, outside in. Give us strength to heal our steps, minds, body, and soul, Lord. As you let us keep pushing, let us keep striving, let us keep continuing to be great and healed. Let us be blessed and let us be prosperous. Right now, Lord, in your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let me open up my eyes before I be done walking out in the highway. But anyway, I hope that everybody having a blessed day. It's just the cars, y'all, and an even wonderful weekend. I hope everybody being encouraged. I hope everybody moving their mind. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what little exercise you do. Just moving your mind. And if anybody's going through anything, I hope they come out here and enjoy beautiful, beautiful nature. Look, you can't beat that, y'all. Just look at it. I just sit here and I listen to the birds chirping and all the sounds of nature. And that's really healing and relaxing to me, like I said, when you're going through something. It is so good to get out here and give it to God. I give it to you, God. Hold up your hands. I don't care if people think you crazy. Like I said, hold up your hands to the sky and say, God, I give all negativity, all darkness, all heartache, all heartbreak, all confusion, all disagreements, all sickness, all bad luck, all negative energy. I give it back to you, Lord. I draw power. I draw strength. I draw love. I draw joy. I draw peace. I draw marriage. I draw happiness, I draw blood of finances, I draw strength from you, Lord. You created me in power. So I claim that power right now in your name. I pray. Amen. Draw it. Pull power from the universe. I cannot express it enough. It'll give you strength that you didn't think you could have. You know, pull guidance from the universe. Ask the Lord to guide you. Ask the Lord to keep you in positive light and pull you from darkness. Because a lot of times... We draw, we draw dark energies to us. It don't just be other people. It be us doing it to ourselves a lot of times. But anyway, we can change that. Like I said, we are the authors of our own book. And we can finish our stories the way that we choose to. We don't have to let other people write our books or let our past wounds write our books. We can write our own books. We can change and rearrange them any way that we choose to. We don't have to let our past be our present y'all get that because we all make mistakes and we are all trying to make changes in our lives i would hope but anyway this is a little subject that i want to touch on i was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and a little situation been going on i ain't not getting in details about all that because like i said this is my story it ain't about other people and me pulling other people in. But it's just, just a little conversation, a little walking, a little talking conversation. But anyway, I know that some people may get offended by this. But it's on my heart to say it. Because this is all a part, this is all a part of breaking generational curses to me. We have generational curses on our families that go way back before we were even thought about being born. We have generational curses on our families and on us that we was that we that was here before we was ever thought about being con put conceived in our mother's womb, and because of that, 
We got to stand up, stand in the fold, and break these generational curses. I'm telling you, you keep one them while your life always seem to be you go up a little bit and you fall back down. You go up a little bit and you fall back down and you seem to get stuck. Well, I say me. I'm going to talk about myself. Seem to get stuck. Seem to not be growing the way that you know you should. It's because we need to break these generational curses, Lord. That should be one of our main prayers. And I should have prayed this, this morning, but I'm going to say it now. Father God, I ask you to please break all generational curses, not only on my family, but on all families, Lord. I ask you to break it from the root, Lord. I ask you to break it from the root to now, Lord. Break it from the root and cover us, Lord. Break those generational curses like only you can. Break them, Lord. Let them be severed. Break them, Lord. And let us live anew. Restore us and make us whole, Lord. Restore us. Keep us in our right state of mind and make us whole, Lord. Let no generational curses follow of us, our children, or our grandchildren anymore, Lord. Break those curses right now. Break those curses on all our elders right now. In your name, I pray break those curses. Break all family and generational curses right now. In Jesus' name, Lord, we need you. We need your strength and your power to show us how we can walk in love and light and break those generational curses and stop them right at us, Lord, so they no longer affect our babies, our grandbabies, and so on and so forth. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Amen and amen. I had to do that, Lord. I had to do that, y'all. Lord, thank you. I can feel that. I can feel that power. Y'all might think I'm I'm a little off, but I be feeling like I be going to the spirit realm. But anyway, another topic to be discussed. But um This is the real reason I brought that up. It takes a village, y'all, to raise a child. It really does. We as people, as human beings, got to stop getting so mad. We know we, each and every one of us love our kids dearly. Now, I'm like this, this kind of mama. I used to be like this. You can mess with me all you want to because I got me. But don't you dare put your hands on my kids. Don't you dare put your hands on my kids. But let me say this. I... Knew each one of my kids pretty well. I can't say I know everything because you don't know what these kids do when you turn their head when they're young. But I knew them pretty well. And I kind of knew when they got in trouble in school or whatever that they, when they did it. And I knew when they, they may not have did it. But I couldn't say what they didn't do because I won't dare. And like I said, we don't know everything. But, I, but I'm, the statement I'm saying is when they got, when they did something in school or did something wrong to somebody, I kind of knew, I knew it was the truth. I ain't going to say kind of knew it. I knew it was the truth. And I would get on them. And that's the times they was getting um, palings. And I would tell them teachers to whoop their butts. And I would tell them they're going to get it whooped again when they come home. Because I really didn't play that disrespect. Now, that's one thing I didn't play. Mine's might have acted up a little bit when they was home. But I taught them to be respectful. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know, to speak to somebody when they're, um, when they come into that space, you know, just to be respect, respectful kids. Now, yeah, they kids and kids act up. They might have acted up a little bit at home. But as far as going out and be, we going out to restaurants and stuff, they acted like angels. Now, they really did. I, I, I'm very proud of them. They grown now. But they acted like angels. And I hate to put them in my story, but I know they don't, they don't, they don't care. But anyway, they was well-mannered. I talked them well. They would get in public. I got so many compliments off them. I have to I have to um be honest. I got so many compliments off my kids. And it won't easy coming up. We we had struggles. But anyway, that's a different subject that we'll talk about another time. But anyway, they was good, good kids. And they still are good kids. Might have made a few mistakes and a little a little bumps in the road, but they're still good kids. But anyway. I'm going all around the subject, but I'm saying that to say this. Y'all, it takes a village to raise kids. And when the kid is sometime in the wrong, we got to stop taking up for them. You know, this times we got to stop taking up for them by every little thing. What I mean by that is when we know deep down in our hearts them kids done done that, instead of us going be the person that go curse somebody out and say, my child didn't do this, my child didn't do that. We need to really talk to them. We need to talk to the to the little little, little babies, cause they got to start from babies, until they turn up, until they grow up to be toddlers and kids and adolescents and teenagers and young men and women. 
because it takes a village to raise a child. And that's how we start the cycle of breaking generational curses. These poor babies are born into all this sin, just as we was born into all this sin. They only learn what they are taught or what they see others do. They changed everything. There's no more prayer in school. They got this going on in the world and that going on in the world. Then the poor little babies that's born now, they're born into the pandemic. So they're born into the, all this dark energy, all this dark space. But y'all know what? We got the power to turn that into light. We got the power to sow positivity and good things into the children so we can be a better world. We have to stop holding them up in stuff when they're doing wrong and start encouraging them to do right. I mean, as a village, if you see somebody's kid cutting up doing wrong, no, you can't go and try to be scolding nobody's kids because people be ready to fight. But what you can do is tell them something positive and encourage them to be great, you know, to, um, to do well, to do good in school. But you can't go saying anything to them because today it's a shame. But the day and time we in, people be ready to fuss, fight, and curse you out about their children. But then I'm, I'm not saying that you can't go around scolding people's children, y'all, because they don't belong to you. But it takes a village. And people need to be more open to allowing other people to sow positivity in their kids. What I mean by that is don't get so mad if somebody see your kid doing something wrong. And they try to encourage them to do what's right. We have to really stop that as adults and break these cycles and help the poor kids today because we know it's much, much harder for them coming up. And y'all got to realize it's these, these curses be trying to follow our babies, y'all, our grandbabies, so on and so forth, all our generations. So you have to decide today, oh, Lord, I'm going to break these generational curses. That's important. And I'm, I really mean that. Because ain't nobody got no business coming in another grown, young grown adult. Have no business walking up in nobody else's house and not opening up their mouth speaking. My grandma and them taught me to speak when you go in somebody's house. They kept me in Sunday school. They kept me in church. I didn't understand why. If you Even if you hung out, you better get your butt up and you better get to church that Sunday morning for Sunday school. And you better stay in church. It don't matter if you just went to bed. You're going to get your butt up and go to church. Didn't understand that then, but I understand that now it's a good thing to try to keep your kids covered, to try to break these generational curses, to try to um make them better, better kids. Y'all, I hope that you get that. Even if you don't always get up and do what's right, try to make sure your kids do because it, it'll, make, it'll make it better children, better young adults, better grown adults, and that's a way of breaking starting to break generational curses it starts at home it said it started at home and spread abroad and it does so let the village help you be positive and sow positivity into your children the right villagers not all villagers but the right villagers but um don't be so quick quick to anger you know and we need to love on the kids more and teach them a little more because we're in hard times. This It can be a cold, cruel world, but the world is also what we make of it. If we do better and do better by others and do better by one another, the world would be a whole lot better. I mean, it's, it feels a whole lot better to be kind than to be grumpy and be mad and angry all the time. It feels a whole lot better to forgive and forget, because I have to work on that forgetting part. That, that's been a rough part for me. I would say I forget, forgave somebody, but I really, really forget. So if I couldn't forget what somebody did to me, did I really forgive them? I don't think so. But anyway, y'all just continue to lift up our babies and lift up one another and pray for one another and stay encouraged and continue to move your bodies. Get out here in nature. When you're going through things, that's what I'm expressing. When you're going through dark things and going through your darkest hours, Get up and look towards heaven. Look at these beautiful trees and um, draw power from it. Throw all that mess out in there into the universe. Even if you're not walking and exercising, just get up, go outside, and do it. But if you can't even get up out your bed, then you do a land that in your bed. You know, you have your blinds open and you do it from right, right, from right there. You know, throw it out there to the universe. Y'all. I feel so good out here walking. Look at that rabbit. Look at the little rabbit. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but look at the rabbit. 
It's beautiful. But anyway, y'all stay focused, stay encouraged, stay blessed, and keep these babies in prayer. Keep yourselves in prayer. Keep everybody in prayer. Don't just pray for your family. But pray for all families because we all need that little extra boost. We all need that little extra encouragement. We all be going through something. We all been going through this pandemic together. We all had hurts and wounds and negative things that happen in our lives. Heartache, heartbreak, worthlessness, unhappiness, um, money losses, and obstacles. But you know what? Like I said, we're the authors to our own books. We can go in, we can rearrange our story, and we can finish it with a bang. We can finish it the way we want to. So y'all keep pushing and keep striving to do better and to be great. I know you can do it. I know you got this. We all winners. No matter what nobody else think of us, I know we all winners because you know what? God don't create no junk. You heard me? He don't create no junk. He don't create no junk. The word for the day that's coming to my spirit is wisdom. Y'all, we need more wisdom. We need to walk in our wisdom because we have it. We just have to seek it. Wisdom. 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 Y'all keep that in y'all spirits. Wisdom. But anyway, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Y'all, get this message out. Let other people be able to hear it. You don't know what people are going through. You got to look past yourself and know that others are really out here hurting. Please share it with somebody that you know needs to hear it. And have a wonderful, blessed day and an even better weekend. And I'll probably be back on tomorrow before church. I'm going to try my best, y'all. I might not be able to get on here every day because you have things that come up in life. But I'm going to try my best to get on here with messages and talks as much as possible. And I do not have to know how to turn on my comments, but I have to learn how to turn on my comments. So if somebody going through something and they feel like they're alone, they know they always have somebody to talk to. Because I will be there if you leave a comment and I have a way to get in touch with you. I will be there. And if you don't feel like even talking to me, leave a comment and I'll promise you I will say your name and say a prayer yes I will because I do not lie about that when somebody tell me to pray for them I start praying immediately I know prayer changes things and I know prayer works but anyway y'all stay blessed stay focused stay encouraged and remember wisdom 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 have wisdom in situations wisdom is the key word for today wisdom well Everybody, I love you. Take care. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and an even greater weekend. Mwah.